Hey everybody, welcome. It's me again. I'm here in the rooms now. The same rooms, same project as before. The only thing this time now, I'm doing quality control. So basically what that means is I gotta be repairing things like that. I got left over, like this here. I gotta repair some thermostats. This is a very common thing. So the thermostats, these are 208, all right? So that means I have an A and a B phase coming in and it goes through the thermostat to the heater. So some people, sometimes these people, uh, they forget, you know, they go with the colors, two reds, two blacks, blah, blah, blah. Um, in the back of the thermostat, there's a, a little symbol, you know, AC current. And uh, some people forget to read that. I don't understand, like, they just kind of go with the colors. There's been a lot of people, so that's been a common issue. I have to pull that out, rewire it, put it back in, perfect. Another issue, these right here, the 208, the heaters. So these heaters are great, man. These are really, really hot. Um, they do a really good job. They're about two inches thick. About two inches thick, they're inside the wall, between the wall. They work really good. Um, the only problem is there's a little fan inside of it. The fan pushes the hot air through the heater coil, so you get heat. The little fan doesn't come on sometimes. Some of these have been a little defective. And uh, it's been a common issue. So I have to turn everything on, make sure everything works, about 20, 30 minutes. Make sure the stickers doesn't start burning off, you know. If it does, then that means the fan is not on. But a uh, common mistake. It's a simple thing, you know, but that's a, that's a manuf manufacturer defect. Another thing, just receptacles have been loose, like down here. I don't know if you can see it. Receptacles are loose, stuff like that. Oh, the doorbell. The doorbell is another one. Some people get, get confused. It's a pretty simple system. There's a <clears throat> There's a transformer inside that converts it from 120 to 0 to 10. So what happens is we send voltage on this little itty bitty wire from one side to the doorbell. When you hit the doorbell button, you close the circuit and it makes these two touch and it rings. Beep. Again, it's a simple system, but you know, just the amount of people that has been here touching all the systems. There's little things like that. This is a, this is a very common one. I think we went over last time this one. It's two pole switch and a motion sensor. Sometimes the switch come on, sometimes it don't. This one doesn't work. So I'm gonna have to open it and check it out. I'll do another one with a close up of what am I doing on this one. All right, here we are again. Another, another day in the life of an electrician. Well, in my particular job, you know, uh, there's some people across the street in the, in the hole They're doing the underground, which I don't envy them. But I'll be over there pretty pretty soon. All right. All right. Well, here we go. Check it out. Um, I'll take it apart. This is my switch. This is a common mistake, you know. Um, this red. The red is supposed to be my switch leg. That's on the other side of the switch. So in this case, I'm going to test it. The switch leg has power. The line side doesn't. So for this case, I just have to flip those around. You see this switch here. This works up and down. See how there's two reds on one side and two blacks? It works from the bottom up, bottom up, or top and down. It doesn't really matter. So in this case, uh, what usually happens is they'll, they'll put two reds up top and two blacks on the bottom, or vice versa, and it doesn't work. So one of my blacks here, this is my line. So basically what happens is when I flip the switch, the line, the line goes up from here to this, this one, goes back up to my fan. In the fan, it's wired to this red. So when I flip the switch, it turns on my fan and turns on this red, and this red, it's instantly. This red comes in, it switches on the on position, it turns on my light. So both of them will come on at the same time. So if I do this, see it comes on, it comes off. So my two pole, two pole is working right now. I know it's probably not the most, I don't know, professional way, but it's the most efficient. It only uses a 12-4 from here to the light, and I'm, I'm able to use it. I still have my neutral per code in the box. So, uh, yeah, here in San Francisco, we have to have a neutral inside the box, even though we're not using it. It's just a San Francisco code. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have more questions, let me know. This is a common issue that happens all the time here. And it's understandable there's a lot of wires and you're splitting it a lot of times. You know, one goes to the fan. We have to make sure that the fan is hooked up correctly. Whoever did that did it right. Make sure it comes back down through the switch. But, uh, yeah, just leave some comments and let me know if you guys need some more advice or ideas on how to make stuff like this work. All right, thanks.